All of the problems I work through in my videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. If you'd like a copy for yourself, just click the PDF link and you can download a copy to your computer. Also found on the website are links to all of my accounting videos, not just the ones here on YouTube that are publicly listed. They're also members only videos. About 40% of my videos are free and open. The other 60% are for members. If you click one of the members links, it'll take you to a page that looks like this, says members only content. If you'd like access to that content, just hit the join button. Okay, let's jump into the problem. Let's examine problem 32A. This problem at long last has us computing a predetermined overhead rate. And just to remind you what a predetermined overhead rate is, it's when we uh, cost a job, when we determine what something costs, we add the material, the labor, and the overhead. And the material and labor, we'll use the actual number. The overhead we have to estimate. And the driver for that estimate is this thing called the predetermined overhead rate. It's This is brought up in the intro video to the module. Please go back and watch it if you're this is sounding Greek to you. But here's how we calculate the predetermined overhead rate. We take estimated total overhead divided by our estimated overhead driver, whatever that driver should be. And uh, we determine some sort of rate here. And, and that's what this question is driving at here. We're, we're coming up with an overhead rate to cost a job. Uh, we're gonna need our calculator, as I said, so uh, let's go. Tony's Tables makes high-end custom boardroom tables. The company applies overhead costs to jobs on the basis, and you're always looking for this phrase, applies overhead costs to jobs on the basis of something. So we know it's going to be estimated total MOH divided by, it applies on the basis of direct labor hours, so it's going to be estimated total direct labor hours for this company and we can have machine hours or direct labor costs those are the probably three most common that you see before the year the company estimated its manufacturing overhead to be two hundred fifty thousand dollars okay so there's our numerator the top of our ratio here two hundred fifty thousand dollars and it budgets its direct labor workforce to work for twenty thousand hours and that's not a complicated thing to do estimating overhead you're estimating all of those indirect costs in your factory, whether that's depreciation, whether it's utilities, all those indirect factory costs. Uh, and then estimating your workforce hours, you just sort of say, okay, how many direct labor workers work for this company and multiply the number of hours one is likely to work and you get a reasonable estimate. They've said 20,000 direct labor hours. So let's calculate that number. Now, I don't know if that's asked in the question. I assume it is. I wrote the question. I should know. 250,000 divided by 20,000 gives us a rate of $12.50 per direct labor hour. Am I still on the screen there? I am. Okay. So, uh, sometimes when I write on the extreme corner of the screen, it, it goes uh, off on, on the video, but I, I think I'm good. Let's read on. Uh, job number 1843 shows the following cost information. So walnut, I guess that's the wood. That's our direct material. We make tables, of course, fancy tables. And so walnut is, I guess, a fancy wood. I don't know what my table is made of at home. Probably not walnut. And they use 300 board feet at a cost of $15 a foot. All right, so let's figure out how much material was used. 300 times 15. is $4,500 worth of material. And that is our DM cost. It took $4,500 of, of wood to turn this, to make this table. Uh, it took a lot of hours. It took 240 hours, basically six full-time employees working 40 hours a week. It took them a week to make the table at 20 bucks an hour. So 240 times 20, $4,800 in labor. 240 times 20 is 
$4,800, and that is our direct labor cost. Now remember, we don't know our overhead cost necessarily. We don't know our depreciation on the uh, equipment that, uh, you know, the saws and things. We don't know our utilities bill won't have come in yet just over the course of this one week. Maybe we get the utilities bill at the end of the month. We don't know all of our costs, so we have to estimate, and we use this predetermined overhead rate to estimate it. And what we said is, $12.50 for every direct labor hour is our best guess at overhead. Well, we know our labor hours. We use our actual labor hours here, 240, and we just multiply by 1250, our manufacturing, our predetermined rather, manufacturing overhead rate, our predetermined overhead rate. So 240 times 12.5 gives us overhead of $3,000. That is our MOH. Again, just to reiterate, the direct material amount, that's the actual amount. That's what I paid for the wood. Direct labor amount, that's the actual amount. That's what I paid my employees for the work they did on this table. Now, you pay them more for other things. Maybe they uh, uh, worked on other jobs. But while they were working on this job, they earned $4,800. And the overhead, I guessed. I made an educated guess based on estimates before the year started. So this is estimated, and again, the word we use is probably not estimated, but applied. We apply $3,000 in overhead cost to the job. So the cost of the job is the material plus the labor plus the overhead. The cost of the job is going to be $4,500 plus $4,800, not 48000 $4,800 plus... 3000 the cost of this job is $12,300. Now, I kind of jumped the gun here. I answered the question without reading the question. Let's read the question. <laughs> Required A, compute the cost of the job. Okay, so I've answered part A. The cost of the job was $12,300. That's our answer for A. B, assuming the company marks up their price by three times the cost, what will the company charge its customer for the table? Okay, so they charge three times whatever it costs them. It costs them $12,300. They're going to charge their customer $36,900. That's their price. That is the answer for part B. $36,900, meaning the margin on this table this is not asked for, but let's do it. $36,900 minus $12,300 $24,600. They uh, will make $24,600 in gross profit on the table. Again, the sales of the table, the sales price is $36,900. The cost, their cost is $12,300, their gross profit is $24,600. Very healthy margins. Big fancy boardroom tables are indeed expensive. This might even be cheap for a big fancy boardroom table. I've never had to buy one, but I know they are expensive. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully this was helpful for you. We have just solved 3 2A. Stay tuned for our next video. Bye for now.